Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a new project and new Python file in PyCharm. This is my existing Python project. So to create a new project and a new Python file, I will have to close this project. To close this project, you go to your file tab and then you select close project. And once you close the project, you will see this welcome to PyCharm wizard. Here are a list of the project I've recently worked on. So if you have any of your project within this list that you want to recall or start from where you stopped, you could select any of those and then you open the new project. Over here, you have your customize, your plugins and your learn PyCharm. So within the customize, you can select your Team color for your new project. So you could select either Windows 10 light, dark color, high contrast, or IntelliJ light. If you're on Mac, you also see Mac 10 and light and so on. And then you could also decide to synchronize it with your operating system. You could also change your IDE font. Currently is at 18. You could change the editor font, which has to do with the code itself. And also you could also change the key map here. And if you don't want to do any of this here, you could also do them when you create a new project. So it depends on you. Same with the plugins. You could also come to plugins. When you open the plugins, PyCharm comes with installed plugins. So these are the installed plugins in your project. Immediately you create a project, you will see these plugins already in there. If you want to add extra plugins, you could go to marketplace and select the plugins that you want to add to your project. Aside this, you could just go straight to open a new project. So I'll select new project, then I'll maximize this and give the project a title. So I'll call it example. And once you give that title, automatically it creates a virtual environment location for you. So you could also choose if it's a Conda environment you want to use or you want to use a piping environment, but ideally you would want to use a virtual environment, except you want to link this to your Conda. So I would select virtual environment. And then here you can also select your base interpreter. So if you have other Python interpreters, you could also select that interpreter here. So for this, I have Python 3.9. So I would select Python 3.9, which is the recent Python PyCharm interpreter. And then over here, you have inherit global site package. This means that any site package that you have installed in your previous project, you could associate those site packages to this your new project. Why make available to all project means any site package that you would install in this project, you could also make it available to your future project. Here is if you have any previous configured interpreter, you could select those. For this case, I don't have any previous configured interpreter. So I have uh, my 3.9, so I will just leave it that way. Then here is if you check this box to create main dot python welcome script so once you open your new project you will see a main python script associated with your new project but for this case i don't want to do that and i will advise you not to do that except you want to see default python file opened in your project so once you're happy with the project title and you're happy with the location then you could just go straight to create and then immediately the pycharm begins to initialize or index all the packages that is associated with creating a new project you see over here showing indexing and then once you finish indexing we can now go straight to create our new python file so this has finished indexing you could use any of these shortcut keys to go to a new file or to go to a recent file so let's assume you don't have any recent file you're just creating this new project from scratch so the next thing you need to do now is to create your Python file. So to create a Python file, you either come here, right click, and then go to new, and then you go to Python file. Or alternatively, you could come to file, 
and then you select new and it gives you opportunity to select the type of file that you want to create for today we want to create a python file so i will just right click here and then go to new and then select python file and then within the python file you could give that python file a name so let's give the a name say example and then the next thing you do is to double click on your python file and this is your python file created so you now have a new project and a new python file you could now go ahead and write your program on python so i could say print hello world i love pycharm id and then we could go further to do other functionality a equals times two print a and then to run this you could either come here to add configuration or because right now it's not showing you just need to go to your run here and then you select run and then you select the file you want to run we want to run example file and that's it this is your first this is your new project and your new python file as it could i'm running through a series on pycharm tutorial please watch out for my next video where i will walk you through all these tabs you have in pycharm what they are and how you can use them to enhance your pycharm ide coding experience please hit the like button if this video was useful to you and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this thank you for watching bye